<laughs> What's up, ghouls and goblins? This is the Max Productions, and today we will be doing a Scream cosplay guide. So the first thing in this cosplay guide will be the mask. There's a couple masks used in Scream 1996. So the first one is this, a Generation 1 Cotton Shroud Fantastic Faces um, Weeping Ghost Mask. This is a uh, second, or I'm not sure what kind of mold this is, I forgot. But um, it's pretty much perfect condition. It doesn't smell like vanilla anymore. But these masks can go for thousands of dollars online. So here is good luck. You'd want look out for cheap, cheap mask. And if you want something close, but you don't really care about accuracy, get one of these. They are latex, a little smaller casts of Gen ones. They come in pink, green, orange, um, this, and, um, white shroud. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if there's other colors, but those are the ones that I know. They're pretty cool, they're cheap, but it's, if you want accuracy, get an authentic Gen 1. The second mask used in Scream is... A KNB ghost face mask. Of course, this is a little rough. It's a cat or a mold that I made. It's just the first version of it. It's a it's a hard mask. This was used in Principal Hembry's death, um, and he cut up a KNB, and um, in the opening scene where Ghostface stabs Casey. So basically, this mask was created by Can Be Effects, who made the movie as a legal parody of Gen One, because they didn't have the rights yet. So they made this, but then this still ended up in the movie. So here is the Can Be. The next thing that you'll need is a robe. This is a Scream 1996 replica robe. Um, as you can see, probably. It's sparkly, like just like in the movie. It has a shaped hood. It has drawstring. Um, the streamers aren't that accurate. They're kind of round and a little short, but they're fine. Um, this this is a really good accurate um, robe, and the bottom of the robe. It's cut into little tiny triangles. Very tiny triangles. Kind of roughly cut. Um, there was a second second robe used where it did, it, the arm streamers were a little longer and the hood didn't have nearly as much padding in it. Used for the KNB mask. And it was used in the bathroom scene. But this one is the main uh, robe used in the movie. Of course, you can't get the exact robes. Those are probably a lot of money. But here is a good look at the sparkle material on the robe. So next, the knife. So the real knife used in Scream is a buck 120 hunting knife. Well, they're pretty expensive, so I'd opt going with the Spirit Halloween, um, Chrome, um, Bowie ghost face knife. This is a little bigger than a Gen 1, or Gen 1, a little bigger than a Buck 120, but it's very accurate, and it looks pretty much just like one. You can use this, and you won't get... Um, you won't get in jail on Halloween, so that's good. Here is the Bowie knife. 
Also, you can get fake knives from Birkbench Designs over on Instagram and some other knife makers. And the boots. I don't have the boots because they're very, very rare. I found a similar pair at Goodwill the other day, but they were like, staring. They were like $80. They looked pretty much just like the boots and Scream, though. But I didn't get them because they were a lot of money. But um, the here's a picture of the boots. They are um, Reebok Bach boots. I think they're, they're a 90s pair, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're brown. They're not actually black. Like most people think of Ghostface as the black boots. But no, they are brown. So that is Cosplay Guide for Scream. I will give some costume shots. Like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.